I don't know, I can't really say that experience helped me benefit at all because it wasn't a crowd, you know, it's kind of like fighting the Polish gym, if that makes sense. Um, it just gave me the feel of just being on TV, having a lot more people watching, you know. And uh, you did have, he was pretty close to having that arm bar in the first round. How close did it feel and uh, how were you able to slip out of there? Um, well, I'm a ground ball too, so it was just like, whenever I get calm positions, it's all about staying calm. You know, I wasn't really, I mean, if you watch the fight, I wasn't really, you know, I wasn't like about to have a panic attack because he got me an arm bar. I just relaxed, stood up, got up, and I noticed when I got up, he was exhausted from all that wrestling he did. And, you know, like, okay, I can take my time now, I don't to rush nothing. Appreciate you, man. Congratulations. I appreciate it. How did you feel about your performance overall? I mean, it was a, it was a close fight, back and forth battle. Um, judging decision came close, and we saw the emotions when, when the score was bred. So, uh, how would you rate your performance tonight? If I had to rate my performance, I would rate it. But, you know, coaches get mad whenever I say it was a shitty performance. So, I'll say it was, it was about like a seven or eight. Because the guy had almost 40 fights, it was 45 back. I took it on the day notice, came out here and put it on. So, I guess I'll, I'll give it a seven or eight. Exactly. And speaking of that short notice, um, when exactly did you get that call? I literally got the call the day before. The day before? Is that the, like the morning of it? Like the literally morning? the day before morning. Like, yeah, uh, this, this happening. You're going to fight. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you were going to be fighting, what were you going to be doing today? I would want to... What's the place called? Six Flags. Six Flags, yeah. <laughs> All the Six Flags, there it is. I'd want Six Flags in the morning, and then I would have ate, ate a pizza burger. No, get the pizza burger. I would have some pancakes, and then I would have came to the fights to watch the fights. Okay, so you had some good food in, in mind, but then you had to, you had to worry about cutting weight a lot, or what? Nah, nah, nah. I mean, I mean, I'm a nigga regardless. Nah, I don't have to worry about killing myself. I don't want to walk around too heavy. Absolutely. Now, what do you think about the, the state of the division right now? Um, obviously, with Ray Cooper missing weight, um, starting with negative one points on the season, um, kind of leaves the whole division like up in arms right now. Yeah, the whole division is like, I think this PFL season is going to be a little weird because I don't think any Walter weight so far has finished. I mean, I can understand why I didn't finish, and I still don't even give myself props for not finishing because I probably should have finished. But I don't. I can understand why, you know, but I feel like all the other fights were a little tougher and I feel like with everybody scoring threes, it shouldn't be hard for anybody to get into the tournament at this point, you know, just one more fight and everybody's already in, you know. Mm -hmm. So overall, stepping in on short notice like this, going out there, having a performance, getting a win, what does that do for your confidence? Um, what does that do for my confidence? It doesn't do anything, it just keeps it right up. Nope. Cool. Congrats on the win. I appreciate it. Was there anything about your opponent that surprised you? No, no. I trained at Sanford MMA with literally the top guys in the world. I got Jason Jackson in my corner right now. I got Landon Quinones. These are my teammates. I got Gilbert Burns for me, my ass. So it's like, you know, I mean, these guys really been putting on me. It's not anything significantly different. I trained with Junior Fernandez up in Florida at ATT downtown for a lot of him. He's been my coach since I started doing MMA. Honestly, it's, it just teaches, you know, pressure and patience. So that wasn't really anything that was super overwhelming for me. And it seemed like the, your opponent was really going for those takedowns a lot. Why do you think he was? Because he has no hands. Or feet. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you.